Hi, this is uh, part five of a video series on the PolyEd tool in modeling mode in UE 5.1. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about the bevel tool. So bevel, you know, the obvious thing bevel can do is it can bevel a selected edge. Uh, when you bevel an edge, there's no in viewport gizmo right now for bevel. You basically use the slider over here. Um, our bevel is still a work in progress. So for instance, you can see it uh, doesn't do some super nice things with the with the sort of UVs on the faces you're kind of opening up with the bevel. Um, the UVs along the bevels also not awesome, so you often have to re-UV your model afterwards. Um, but it does do the right thing with the face group. So if I apply this operation, you see that it did create the sort of desired uh, poly groups uh, at the end. So I'm just going to undo that though. I'll just mention, uh, I haven't mentioned this in, in the videos before, but when you're in an operation like this and you've got these apply cancel up here, that's separate from the apply cancel for the whole shape edit. You can hit escape once to cancel out of that operation and then escape a second time to exit, clear the selection and then a third time to exit the tool. So that's a quick way to um, escape or to cancel is escape and you can hit enter to apply the active operation. Um, so bevel also works with multi-selection, so I can select those three and bevel them, and it's going to sort of do the right thing at all the face corners. Uh, I can also select by face, so if I select that face, I, it'll bevel all the edges around the border of that face. Um, if I select two faces, then it's going to be beveling the sort of loop of poly edges, poly group edges around that selection. Um, so, uh, like, you know, this, it all works with multi-selection and things like that. So I jump over here, I can grab these faces up here and bevel them. It's a little too far. Uh, the bevel's based on the mesh topology, not on sort of a Boolean. So, you know, if you make crazy bevels, you're going to get crazy intersecting faces and stuff like that. Um, apply that one. And then, um, also, let's just do this one in here. So another thing I didn't mention before is you can, when you have an active selection, you can use the F hotkey to focus on it. It's on your mouse there, so you, you know, bevel in here. Um, this will work too. It'll kind of open up that, that whole ring around there. Um, so the bevel's quite reliable in terms of not creating broken, like holes in your mesh or things like that. Um, it will, you know, move the vertices around as it needs to. And stuff like that and we we only right now have one mode for the sort of bevel width which is a a, a distance uh, based offset um, bevel also works with curved faces like i've been showing in most of these videos so i can also select these edges up here i guess i could have selected the face uh, and i can bevel those if i go too far you'll see it starts to make foldovers but for like smaller uh, edges that works and it makes new sort of poly faces um, in there and then you can do you know kind of cool stuff like uh, extrude those Let's see if we can we extrude those inwards a little bit make little rings and stuff like that uh, on complex topology and so uh, bevel is is still a work in progress but it does let you do quite a few things um, there's no rounding right now uh, but that's the bevel operation uh, in polyed